Love, 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 Scorpio love. Talking about that love, 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 Scorpio love. Talking about that love, 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 Scorpio love. Love, 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 Scorpio love. Love, 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 Scorpio love, on the weekend love vibes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey there Scorpios and welcome back to your weekend love vibe because we are talking about love, 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 Scorpio love. Love, 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 Scorpio love. Love, 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 Scorpio love. Yep, that's right. We're talking about Scorpio's love. So tap in to the Scorpio's love vibe. This is all about the Scorpio's love. Now... Shout out to the cross watchers. Uh, maybe you are familiar with that there uh, Scorpio's love. So shout out to you cross watchers. I hope you are checking in for your Scorpios so that you can try to get some of that Scorpio's love, 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 love. And so that you can be elevated and you can be abundant and you can float around here like you on cloud nine uh, operating under that Scorpio's love, 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 love. All right. So shout out to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. Shout out to Kim T. I got her personal reading done. Thank you guys so much for your support shout out to my beautiful amazing Scorpio members I appreciate you you are my family I thank you I love you I appreciate you I wish the best for you I hope this video finds you with all of your needs completely met may you continuously be above and not beneath may you always have what you need coming out and going in may uh, mercy provision and abundance and even uh, spiritual favor follow you all the days of your Scorpio life. All right. <laughs> so shout out to you, Scorpio. So keep in mind, my beautiful Scorpio, that this is a general. It's not. I repeat, it is not. You know, I, I read I read some, somewhere in the comment section where someone uh, responded on one of my videos. I think on my other channel. And she said, well, if it ain't long term, I don't want it. And I started laughing. I started thinking, I'm like, well, how are you going to know whether or not it's a long term or not? I mean, it has to start somewhere, right? If you're going into these relationships, putting it out there. I mean, it's one thing for because really well, how I feel is now when we meet people, we shouldn't even put no expectations on it. Let it happen. Let it flow. Let it flow. Un, let it flow naturally. I feel say unnatural. Naturally. Let it flow naturally because that's the best time. That's the best part. The beginning with no expectations and something beautiful and amazing come out of it. See, because you got love all around you, baby. So let's check out your cards because I pulled you from two different decks here. Shout out to you, Scorpios, on this weekend love vibe with all about the love, love, love. Yeah, that Scorpio Love. I said that love, 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 yeah, that Scorpio, <laughs> all right, <laughs> yeah, because y'all going to be in the comment section, everybody can't sing, we ain't coming over here to hear you sing, if you want to sing, then just do a video about singing, well, now I'm going to do whatever I want to do over here, because uh, love is like that, where um, sometimes you feel like you want to sing, you, you never had nobody, you never had nobody to rock your world or make you feel so beautiful and so special where you're just singing now I'm not singing because somebody done rock my world really brown eyes has rocked brown eyes own world it's it's the energy of love that I know how to attach myself to I don't need no person if I operate in vibration in the highest energy which is love Oh, yeah, baby, it's going to make me want to sing about it. Y'all must ain't had no good love. It's time for you to experience real good love. I'm talking about the good love that you've never experienced before in your life. And there is a first time for everything. I feel like the best is yet to come for you, Scorpio. So let's see, because I got your two decks here. So your love oracles here. Now, let's see, because I did not turn them over. So I don't know what they say, but I hope it's good, because you got love. 
So your first card here says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those love. So instantly, I feel like not only are you uh, have created not so fun memories, but there's also an opportunity for you to create new memories. New memories that possibly, I'm not going to say could replace the old ones, but they're going to make the old ones seem like they're nothing. They're not going to have a negative effect on you. So it's telling you to build new memories, build new fun memories in this life. Live your life abundantly. Don't wait. It's time to start creating beautiful, amazing memories, Scorpios. And so your next card here is Twin Flames. Your passion ignites. So you're attracting a twin flame relationship here. And then you have my beloved. So this is a, 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 a energetic message. Whether, whether you know this person or someone here who you are, are, are yet to meet, it says, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love. Remember love, baby. Transcends. Space and time, nothing is missing. Ain't nothing missing, babe. You got everything you need. It's just a matter of time. Now, the past is now behind you, Scorpios. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. See, y'all got something new coming your way. And I know some of y'all, and don't stone the messengers, some of y'all actually want to hold on to somebody from your past. And guess what? Sometimes things change for, for, for your better. Look, I'm trying, I'm trying to cross my legs like I'm chilling. Let me, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm doing too much. Okay. So like I'm saying here is, in order to, and, and like you, you can always get something new too, but if you're not in the right energy, you're not going to hold on to it long. Especially if you're looking for a long-term relationship here. And so, like, I feel like somebody needs to release the past or some of you guys have released the past. And as a result, you are attracting love in the form of a twin flame. And your last card here is only time will tell. Only time will tell. So in other words, you may not see the evidence of it now. Only time will tell. But if you keep your energy positive, then I feel like only time will tell is going to work out in your favor. So check it out. You also have harmony. It says perfect balance. I feel like you have the right relationship that's coming your way, that's going to. See, see the type of energy. See, when you're operating in love, it's going to raise your frequency. See there? You be walking around here glowing and, and, and it ain't about it ain't about your hair. It ain't about your makeup. It's not about your clothes. It's about that energy of love, baby. That, that's going to do it. So some of y'all walking around here, you know, all in the fairy tale head, all in the clouds. And you may not be in love with anybody. It's just your energy. It says rejoice in your life. So see, I'm going to read this for you. Number 23. So see, when you rejoice in your life, your life, be happy about yourself first because nobody deserves for you to give them all of your energy. When you have not, if you, if you have not celebrated yourself, then you don't, they don't deserve it. They need to get it after the fact. Okay. So this is what it's telling you here. It says, uh, Flora, see, cause it's Flora, you know, Flora, uh-huh. It says Flora is here to take you by the hand, Scorpio, and lead you into the sunshine where you belong, baby. It says no more hiding in the shadows, no more silencing your voice, and no more wailing up your heart. Goddess comes to say it's time to rejoice, be expansive, and radiant. The sunflower tilts its head towards the... Wait a minute, I want to read that part. Let's get down to the nitty gritty here. It says here, listen to your heart's desires and know that all things are possible. See, see, all things are possible, even the right mate for you. And they ain't got to be perfect, baby, but they can be perfect for you. They can be perfect for Scorpio because Scorpio is perfect and they love <laughs> not all the time. I'm just saying I'm tripping. All right. So it says step into your dreams, Scorpio, and make them real. Don't be afraid to shine. There may be those who stand in the shadows and fear their power. Uh, pure, oh, OK, so it says there may be people who stand in the shadows and fear your power. Um, so 
to step into the light and who will envy the song in your voice. See, <laughs> see, that's what spirit is just confirming about me singing. See there, see there. So in other words, and I don't even have to finish reading this. In other words, the light that you have, they did not give it to you so they cannot take it away and use it. When people cannot dim your light, they are very, very envy, envious of you. But if they have a problem with you, you tell them to take it up with your maker. It ain't you. You were born this way. This is your destiny. So spirit is saying, stand in your light. Yes, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to rub on somebody's shoes, but it, that's because they need to up their level too and come into the light as well. Don't you dare allow anyone to dim your light because you are bright. See, enlightenment. See, see there, Scorpio. It says, let God's light fill you. And then you have the love. Let me let me let you know about this God's light that you are radiating under, whether you are a male or a feminine you are still operating in the goddess light. That means that you are divine. You have a divine light that uh, exuberates out of your aura and people notice it. Once again, it's not about the, the, um, the carnal things like the hair, the clothes. No, it's about the energy because some of you guys have the energy of love all around you because it is real and it is pure and people see it by your lights. So it tells you, Scorpio, be still, sweet one, for God has come to enlighten you. There are times when darkness seems to envelop you, but do not be afraid, for out of the darkness comes a light that is brighter than you have ever known. It is the light of Bridges Fire. It is the fire of compassion, create creativity, and courage. The fire of the forge that can transform and create. It is the fire with a center of pure white light, a place of serenity and peace. God has caused you to give her your darkness so her fire can consume it, baby. That's your, that's your ancestor telling you to give, give them all of your worries, give them all of your doubts, and they will enlighten you and bring you to a place of calm. I feel you're, you're hiding under the mighty wings of your protector because I also saw, I also saw this card. See, safety. See, you're safe. Don't you know that spiritually you are wrapped in the creator's arms, your ancestors? You're, you're not doing this journey alone. You're not. It says you are held. So you are comforted. You are protect. It's just like a loving parent hold a baby. You know, we will protect our baby with our own lives. So see there you have nothing to fear. You, you are so surrounded by your protection that it's not funny. Who would dare embark on trying to harm even one hair on your head here, Scorpio? So let me let you know about this love real quick, and then we're going to move on to your tarot cards. So let me, let me make sure you don't need nothing else. Okay, so let's move on to the love. See there, Scorpios, you are the light. And a lot of times, and it ain't just about Scorpio, just general. When people are in darkness and they're not wanting to change, then your, your light is going to piss people off. That's just what it is because they're going to be in a dark energy. They're going to be mad. They're going to be angry. And if you come around angry, low vibrational people are all upbeat and happy, they're going to be <laughs> angry at you. <laughs> They mad at you, but they don't know what you're going through behind the scenes. It's just that you're still operating in high vibrational energy. It's almost like the trials and tribulations. Yeah, they're formed, but and they may even come at you, but they're not going to take you off of your destiny and your divine soul's purpose here on this earth. So love here. It says, be free from all that holds you back. It says, Rhiannon. Goddess of love and sensual pleasure comes to you now saying, feel me now as love. I am life's lust. I am pure love. Her white mare may gallop into your dreams. Y'all may be having them type of dreams. Will you ride her through the swirling <laughs> veils and into the other worlds? Are you ready for transformation from caterpillar to beautiful butterfly, from duckling to magnificent swan? She has come, Scorpio, to show you the power of love. She is love and she changes everything she touches. See, you got that mighty Scorpio love touch. Let her love each. Let her teach. Let her love teach you to live your live from your heart 
and to love and embrace your beautiful body. Here is a path of deep connection. She calls you to open to her sacred fertile power. There go the Empress energy. Let her move you if you are stuck. Let her hold you if you are afraid. Let her heal your wounds and make you whole. Now is the time, Scorpio, to cast aside your limiting thought patterns. Stop making negative judgments and criticism about yourself and others. Uh, Rihanna is here to set you free from all that holds you back. Her gifts of freedom is love. The waves of change are coming. Are you ready, Scorpio, to ride her white horse and crest the waters with love? <laughs> Oh, snap, snap, snap. I say you got the love, you got, you got the waves of love. Like I feel like you are radiating with love because you see your overall energy is the queen of cups. So you have love all around you. There it is again. See? So some of y'all are really ready for love. Are you really ready for this love? Because it's ready for you. I feel like some of y'all have did the work. And you're just ready for it to manifest here. So all you have to do is put yourself in the energy to receive it. No blockages, no self-limiting thoughts. Because you know, you know, people, it ain't just Scorpio. People can, can think, think, think themselves out of something good. So you have the Queen of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces here. That's your energy, Scorpio, for this weekend. Love vibes. All right? <laughs> Queen of Cups, what's going on with this Queen of Cups for Scorpios? I feel like you are nurturing yourself. You could be healing. But every time I see this Queen of Cups and you got this Virgo card, like I say, some of y'all may be laying low. You may be hiding out or staying to yourselves right now. And somebody may be saying, whatever happened to Scorpio? Could be dealing with the Virgo here. They go to Chariot card. You got a Cancer here. Somebody is coming towards you here. Somebody may have been looking for you. Mm. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. You got water and earth. There's judgment. Mm. Once again, people are starting to be judged or they're starting to finally have, uh, finally judge the situation here, Scorpios. Somebody's making up their mind that they want this, that they want you. Could have been somebody introspecting. Could be you trying to figure out, do you want to entertain someone or do you want to move on? <sighs> Please don't do that. Don't, I, don't, I don't want no negative. I don't want no past ends. And I can't stop these cards, but I don't want to see you pitiful uh, cross watchers. Now, if you, gonna, if you really want Scorpio, just, just do it. I don't want to see you in your head and you don't know what to do when then leave Scorpio alone. Mm. They go to King of Wands now. So let's see, because you got love on the board. And this is something intense, see? And they go to Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. You got you may have either this is this Knight of Wands wanting to pursue you, or you may have multiple people here. We getting money, 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 money. Get it. We're getting money, money. Y'all y'all hear that song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, these songs be tripping me out, man. These songs is crazy, though, man. It's just crazy. It's just so different from what I grew up with. But I sure be bumping some of that music. And then I mess around and catch what the words are saying. Y'all don't come for the message. I'm just reading these cards. Six of Cups. <laughs> Five of Wands. Nine of Wands. Oh, Scorpio. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. We still got to read them, though. So somebody's making up their mind. There is somebody here who is has changed ahead of change of heart. Baby, can I change my mind? I feel like somebody ahead of change of mind. Maybe it's you because you are showing up as the queen of cups. You got love here. Maybe you somebody's thinking about somebody from their past or somebody's reminiscing on um happy times or but with this hang man i feel like there's a something that slowed up or something that came to a complete stop that go to freaking ten of pentacles again they go to ten of pentacles right there 
Ooh, we Scorpio, what's going on? So let's see. Let me take my time because you got the Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups, and the Hangman, and the freaking Chariot, Cancel, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You got Virgo with the Hermit, and you got Judgment with Taurus. But you sure got a lot of water in here, Scorpio. There's a lot of water because this is all about emotions and love. You remember, this is about love, Scorpio's love, because you got the Queen of Cups. So either you got somebody here. Now, this Six of Cups could represent. I go to Nine of Pentacles. The Six of Cups could represent a familiar energy, something that, because you remember, you got Twin Flame also showed up. So for some of you guys, you're going to have to make up your mind what you want. You may have multiple people coming to you at this time. And like I say, Scorpio, you know what happens when you finally release something, because you also had that let go. When you finally release something, because people are so used to Scorpio coming back. <laughs> When you finally release it and move on, that's when you're going to start finding new energy and uh, other pursuers wanting to be with you. And just like clockwork, as soon as you go find other interests and somebody feels your energy shift because you can feel it shift. You can tell when somebody ain't focused on you at all. You can feel it. it's in the energy and you may not know why, but you can know you can tell the energy is shifted. As soon as they feel your energy shift, it could very well be that somebody from your past is going to want to come back to. All right. So keep that in mind. Now, it ain't my fault. Your exes won't take no for an answer. What did you do to them? And you know what? It, it ain't you. It's judgment. <laughs> Everybody is under judgment always, always. It just so happened that you was a part of this person's life. And now that they're being judged and having these realizations and awakening and all those things like that, quite naturally, they're going to think about people who was who played a important part in their life, whether they appreciated it or not. Nine times out of 10, they're not They're They're going to look at themselves with remorse because I did see that. See, <laughs> Because now they get to see it for what it really is, okay? And then they're going to see you as somebody here who, oh, you didn't mean no harm. You was just trying to offer them this cup. You didn't mean no harm. You was just trying to love them. But for some of y'all, it would have been too late then, all right? So let's start off with this King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Let's start off with the masculine energy. Now, it could very well be that, well, let me see. What's up this King of Wands? Why is the King of Wands here for Scorpios, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries? What's up with this King of Wands for Scorpio? Y'all, it's cloudy today, but I think the high is going to get up to 50-something. Are we out of winter yet? I'm, I don't know. I'm just confused. It's like time is flying. You know what I did notice, though? <laughs> when you on YouTube, it, it makes time go by fast. It do. It do. It really do. So the world outside, it, it may be it, <laughs> outside in the real world. It may be still 2023, but on YouTube, it's 2025. <laughs> All right. <laughs> see, King of Wands. See. Ain't that something? King of Wands, Six of Cups. What's up with this King of Wands and what are they wanting? Who is this? Now, see, and they go to freaking chair. Now, it could be you masculines that's trying to take more action because you can't get somebody off of your mind. Is it somebody that you're in love with? Why is this chariot here? No. Somebody is coming in, Scorpio, okay? <laughs> with this Six of Cups, either it's just a soulmate, somebody here who... I can't say it. I, I feel like this is somebody from your past. I'm just going to have to cut because he got the king of wands. Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn here. So somebody here wants to come back and do what? Or somebody is thinking that they, they may not even be making a move, but I feel like this is their mind. Somebody is thinking about, especially with this judgment card, somebody is recalling things from their past and it just so happened to be about you and somebody may be looking at you like you have changed because of them see somebody's looking at you no longer being interested because you look at this king of wands as somebody here who you can't trust 
see? So see, it don't matter if your exes show up in your energy. It's already showing that you're not going to go for it. So you got to attack me. So y'all already see, see the type of Scorpio that I'm getting. They're, they're not putting up with that. <laughs> see, you got the sun car here too. See, cause the sun is shining on you. Or maybe it has illuminated you. You may see things clearer now. Got the six of cups twice, but yeah, y'all, y'all not going for this person, Scorpio. So you don't have to worry. But I know it's 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 uh vexing for them to. Isn't it something? It's almost like the nerve of somebody. They know they do you wrong, but they got the nerve to try to come back. Like you're gonna be so stupid, like they so perfect that that they got it like that. It is just crazy here. But you know, people will try you. And then, you know, like I said, if people try you and you fall for it, it's on you then. It's time to learn these lessons here. And I feel like some of y'all really have, and you don't want this person. I don't give a crap what they come with. They're going to get a tongue lashing, God dang it. They better give you 50 feet. <laughs> now, what's up with this Knight of Cups for Scorpio Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces? Why is the Knight of Cups here for Scorpios? Ace of Swords. You could have a secret admirer that's coming in here. You got the will of fortune. So like I feel like you got this cocky person from your past going to get their feelings hurt with that queen of swords energy. So they can, they can go on back and see because you got something else coming in here. So they can go on. You can kick rocks, king of wands. See? Like I said, as soon as you find somebody else, that person from your past, they're going to try to come back. They're going to want to talk. But you already got somebody over here because this is part of your timeline. Things are changing around. See, because they go to the Knight of Cups again. See, because they see your worth, God dang it. Unlike the other person, the other person, the King of Wands, this is how they see you. Because they did you like this. Because of this. So this is what they get from Scorpio now. But that Knight of Cups, because of fate and destiny, because it is time. And this is a part of your timeline with that Knight of Cups once again, because they recognize greatness. See? So this person probably going to get you. Because <laughs> they, they're going to come in the right way and you don't have no bad history with them. You don't have no bad blood with them like you got that King of Wands in the Six of Cups. So cross watch and be warned. And I shouldn't give you a heads up, but I'm just saying don't waste your time. You know, don't waste your time. If you push Scorpio where they're no longer in the Queen of Cups, but I just, the, card, the whole card just fell on the floor, y'all. If you put Scorpio out of the Queen of Cups to a Queen of Swords, you, it's over. You've lost trust. You know, Scorpios, they're, they're, they're highly suspicious any freaking way. And if you ever put that thought in their mind that you're up to no good, they're not going to trust you anymore. The they're going to start thinking about all the crap you done did. I'm just telling you so. For whoever, the king of wands, you could be a fire sign. You thinking about going back? I, I, I wouldn't if I was you. But some of y'all want this person. But y'all going to cut some out or y'all already have. All right, so what's up with this queen of cups? Now, what's up with the hermit card here? Clarify this hermit card. Virgo energy. Why is the hermit card? Because they see you as the empress. You remember, you remember we talked about that fertility here. Let me show you your cards. See? This love represents... Fertility, as well as this radiance here. See there, this is all your energy. And the right person going to see that. You can tell when they're not the right person because they don't come at you right. And, 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 and then let's just be real. Sometimes you got people of low vibrational energy that, that try to go outside their lane and, 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 and go after somebody that they know they don't deserve. But in their egotistical mind, they feel like they deserve to have the baddest. And in this re response, you are the baddest because you're radiating, you're glowing. Your love is what's attracting them. Your love, please believe, the love that could not keep that person from your past uh, together is going to be that same love that's got their asses wanting to come back. Ain't that something? You see how that works? It's the same love. Oh, yes, yeah, Scorpio had the love there. Ain't nothing changed. It's just that Scorpio may not have that same love for you, though. But Scorpio gives you what, whatever you give Scorpio is what Scorpio going to give you back. So somebody may have missed an opportunity and, and they're wasting their time. But if they want to get checked with that queen of swords, then by all means, try it. I can't tell you not to try. 
but you're not dealing with the same Scorpio because Scorpio one Scorpio decides that they're not in love with you no more. It's over. And I feel like Scorpios want new love somewhere else because you had your chance. <laughs> And I don't speak for everybody. I'm just speaking for this reading. All right. All right. So you could be dealing with a Virgo. Like I said here, somebody could be looking for you. <sighs> with this Virgo card, I feel like you may have someone block or you're just staying to yourself because you don't want to. You, you want the right one. See, somebody finna come the right way. The night page of cups. I feel like somebody has been searching for this and then it could be you too. You could be staying low and staying to yourself, working on yourself until the right offer comes. See, because you say you're tired of giving out and not being reciprocated. You're tired. It's, it gets draining. It makes you doubt it, don't it? Because if you steady running into folks and they're steady doing the same thing and it's a one-sided relationship, you're going to start doubting everything. Then it could be a Libra. And look at that Knight of Wands coming in, the Fool card. Strength card, see? I feel like somebody is passionate about you, but I feel like it's coming from different directions. I feel like you got it coming in currently, up ahead and behind you too, okay? Mm. Three of swords, ten of swords. So I feel like this, you're about to get justice for if you've ever experienced any heartache or pain, which, which I'm sure you have. The type of relationship you got coming your way is going to bring balance back into your life where you can trust and believe again, Scorpio. This person's going to teach you how to open up and love again. See, the teacher. Could be dealing with an Aries. But you got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. You got Virgo. Libra. See, three of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you guys, you're not going to really be expecting this per this new person to come in because some of y'all still dealing with the past person energy. Because somebody's going to come to you and they may be so subtle, they may not be aggressive because they are a real gentlemen, okay? It's so different from this King of Wands energy with the Seven of Swords. Because the King of Wands has the chariot too. So you got multiple people coming your way right now and it's all based on this love energy, see? So you're going to get it. You got the Ten of Cups right there too, see? There it is again, see? This, this is what's coming your way. So you're going to have to decide. You're going to let go of something. You're going to start something new because you got something beautiful. Somebody here is, I feel like Spirit is sending this Knight of Cups, whoever this Knight of Cups energy is. For some of y'all, it's somebody younger. And for others, it's just somebody here is just a loving person here. They're looking for their person. And they're going to see you as someone here who is amazing in that Empress. Why is this other, uh, chariot? why is the chariot here for Scorpius? Clarify the chariot. Cancer energy. Could have a cancer that's interested in you. That go to Knight of Wands again. See? Could be that King of Wands, because the King of Wands got the chariot card. See, this King of Wands, <laughs> see? This is the person you took a break from. The same person here who's thinking about you, and that Six of Cups was trying to come back. See there? They're going through something. Ain't that something here? But they already know you in the Queen of Swords and what they, they may not know, but that's, they, they're going to know it because if they try to come back, they're going to get the other side of you. See? Now they're trying to come back. See? See there? See? See there? I feel like you got soulmate energy and twin flame energy. And this person from your past, they're going to try to come back in and do, like I just said, somebody's going to try to come back when you don't want them, when you're moving on with your life, Scorpio. That's what I see. I feel like you got the person from your past. As soon as somebody else takes your energy or the hopes of something new is when they're going to feel it because you can feel it with that two of cups. Why is judgment here? See there, Scorpios? Because, like, I feel like some of y'all low-key still got feelings for the person in your past, and you may not be focusing on this new person. But the other person is the one who's acknowledging your, how powerful and how beautiful and amazing you are. Why is judgment here? 
huh? Ten of Cups, see? Somebody deciding that they want it back, see? They don't want to play games no more. And it could be you saying, you know what? I want a real commitment here. Until then, I'm just going to stay to myself and wait for the right situation to come. This could be you saying this too. Why is judgment here? You say you don't want no drama. You don't want no one-sided relationship. And you're making up your mind that you want the best for you. Eight of Pentacles here. So for some of you guys, you may be holding back. For some of you guys, you made up in your mind that you're not you're not gonna give up, you're not gonna give yourself out easily. And they like I said at the beginning, I read somewhere where one of the somebody come in and say that if they're not coming in with a long-term relationship, they don't want it. But I'm just saying, how you gonna know? If is it somebody new, you you you're you going to have to see, look, everybody has to take a chance. Everybody's going to have to take a chance one way or another. Eventually you will. But how in the world are you going to know where it can lead to if you don't at first plant seeds? The only difference is don't go in with everything. You go in and you give a little bit here, depending on what they doing. If they ain't doing nothing, they ain't the one for you anyway. That's how you find out. You give it a chance. You let them take you out. You talk. You get to know them. And then you would know. But, but you, you, I mean, cause especially for those who really want a relationship, you're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to be open sometime. So you got the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Huh, death. <laughs> Scorpio Pisces here, see? I feel like I feel like ain't nothing happening right now because I feel like some of you Scorpios are not allowing it to because you're waiting for the right one. But you could also be blocking the right one too. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. Ten of Wands here. See, because I feel like y'all done blocked folks, y'all done disconnected, and now you just focusing on you and waiting on the right one, and you got a right one coming. See, because they go to Sun Card. Something's about to change. See? I feel like what Spirit is telling some of y'all is the ones who really want love, you really want companionship. You remember that card said, Only time will tell. I'm happy that card showed up because only time will tell, but you're going to have to put the work in. For somebody, Spirit is telling you that if you really want love, you're going to have to put yourself really out there, see? Because they'll go to Queen of Wands. Maybe it's time for somebody to uh, not worry about love, but just worry about going out and mingling and having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have the best of time and you ain't got to be in a relationship where you, where you feel like you're, you're too exposed. Yeah, if you take your time and just go out there and mingle and just get to know people then you won't be losing anything. Now, why is the Six of Cups here again? Huh, snap. <laughs> there go that King of Wands. See, that? there go that Twin Flame relationship. See? See, that, now you got the King and the, now you got the Six of Cups and the King of Wands. I told you, you got the King of Wands, got the Six. See, this is what you got. But I feel like y'all don't want this person from your past, though. See? King of Wands, the Six of Cups. King of Wands and the freaking Six of Cups again. So like I said, but this is how you're going to meet, greet this person. I feel like it's okay to be to, to set strong boundaries with this person because I feel like they're, they're guilty of something. But there's also a need to... Level up, get out for some somebody. You got to let your feelings go right now. Don't focus on love. Don't focus on building the long term. Focus on having yourself a good time, putting yourself out there, making yourself stronger because love is always available. But you're going to have to be a friend first. Uh, get, uh, go out there and ex explore, you know, have fun. See, because something is changing for you. But like I said, this person looking at you. Somebody may know that, especially if they're looking at you as they know that when it comes to them, you're in the queen of swords, but they feel like you're just beautiful. You attractive. See, that's why you're the empress here, because you have all of these beautiful qualities. You got the queen of cups and the queen of wands for the empress. So, heck, yeah, you, you somebody was going to be checking you out because they are. I feel like this person feels like you're not talking to them anymore. And then this person may be secretly trying to come back to you, this king of wands. Why is this king of wands here with the six of cups? Could be dealing with the Leo. 
See? Nine of Pentacles. See? So see, this person's coming in to you like this. See this? King of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles here. Clarifying the Six of Cups, you got the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles here. So this is somebody here who, like I feel like, they may, may, may still want to stay single. But they may be coming back to you to see what can they get out of you with that Six of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. So this person is thinking. This person's mind is... <laughs> I feel like somebody wants to come back, but I feel like somebody here. They may be coming to you in the Nine of Pentacles. They could be looking at you like you're single and abundant. See? So I feel like this person is worried because they know that all of the qualities you got, you may not be wanting them now because you may have already given them a chance. And you may have already found out that they ain't ish and you don't want to play those games. So for some of y'all, you may have this person blocked with this hermit card. Because like I feel like you got justice coming in. You got this person from your past that's trying to do things better by you. But you also got somebody new coming in, Scorpio. So it's going to be up to you. So now you got the Ten of Cups. What's up with this Ten of Cups? This is what you want, Scorpios. Because I feel like this person from your past, they don't want much. I don't even see them. All they want is your love. That's what they want. They want your affection and your attention. See, Ten of Cups, the tower. Why is this tower? That's your energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Sp Pisces, the Ten of Cups. Why is this Ten of Cups in the tower here? Mm. Because like I said, you're going to have to decide, baby, because you got a whole commitment coming in. The lover's card, Gemini, I told you. See? You can decide who you want, but like I said, for some of y'all, you got this past person so blocked that you might be using the same energy towards this past person, towards this new person that's coming in. So like I said, y'all going to have to decide who y'all want. I know some of y'all know, I know some of y'all know that you don't want the person from your past, but I know some of y'all actually do want the person from y'all past. See, balance. I feel like it's all about choosing the right connection for you with the devil card here. So like, I feel like something's going to happen real quick that you're not going to see coming. You may have folks coming in your life that's bumping heads here. But there's a need to get your energy balanced and to choose the, the, uh, the energy that brings the most balance to you. Spirit is saying don't allow yourself to get caught back up in something toxic here because that person is coming back in to try you because they're not happy and because you've moved on. Page of Wands. So see, you got folks checking you out and they go to King of Pentacles. Uh, the queen of coins, somebody may be looking at you like, like you're all there here. So now you have the queen of cups, your last one. That's you. What's up with Scorpio and this queen of cups? Why is the queen of cups here for Scorpios? Queen of cups, two of wands that told you you're going to be at a crossroad. But I feel like this is good, see, because you want what's best for you. And there go the queen of cups. So it seems like now... You're going to start making the choices that's best for you and stop putting people ahead of you. See, because y'all want a whole relationship. See, Queen of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Y'all want somebody to come in here and bring you some st stability, some commitment here. So this is what y'all doing. Y'all taking y'all time. Some of y'all not even accepting offers at this time, Scorpio, because you don't want to be pushed in something that you're going to later regret. See? But like I say, you definitely have someone coming. But for some of y'all, you may not be open. See, it keeps on coming out. Some of y'all, look, and when I say this, I'm not being mean. I'm not doing none of that. I love y'all, but I'm just telling you what I see. Some of y'all are so busy blocking this person from your past that you're going to mess around and block something real because you're going to because of fear. Don't let this person from your past keep you from moving forward because this is what you have. Not only this, you got the freaking ten of, ten of Cups too. This is what is coming your way, something real, Scorpio. So once again, don't let your fear of somebody from your past that didn't do right. Don't, don't stay too detached and too, too cold 
where you miss out on something good because you got something real. Somebody here who is going to honor you and respect you like you deserve and desire to be treated, Scorpios. All right. All right, Scorpio, this is your min uh, mineral. <laughs> this is your general love reading. So if it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you, guys. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, Scorpios.